you would like to think there would be peace on earth this time of year, but uh, this is not what we're experiencing. And, and like I say, we know Calgarians are concerned. Uh, we share their concern. Two shootings, one confirmed homicide and two additional homicide investigations. And that's just the start of the new year. Calgary's police chief holding a news conference addressing the dramatic jump in violence the city has seen over the holidays. There is little or no chance that they will be targeted with the type of violence that we have seen recently if they are not connected to high-risk lifestyles or hang around those who do. 2019 saw 89 shootings and 19 homicides. This past weekend saw one man dead and another injured with life-threatening conditions in Saddle Ridge in the city's northeast. On Sunday morning, police responding to a suspicious death on 11th Avenue and 1st Street Southeast. He was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Hours later, a homicide unit was called to Fish Creek Provincial Park where they found a body engulfed in flames. Police still determining the cause of death. Then shots heard in the Auburn Bay area early Monday morning. That added another investigation for Calgary Police. At this point, none of the homicide investigations appear to be connected to one another. All of the homicides are targeted, meaning that these are acts of violence that were committed by people known to those who were harmed. Monday morning's shootings is the fourth significant incident since Saturday. Now begs the question, do Calgarians feel safe? Yeah, I do live downtown um, in the area where the stabbing was, uh, so that was, it was a little terrifying. It is a concern, but do I feel less safe day to day? No, and because I'm hoping that this is like a one-time weekend thing. For the average person, I think it really comes down to whether or not you get caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Otherwise, I, it seems to be pretty targeted. I grew up in Calgary all my life, so, you know, it's pretty crazy out there, right? You know, uh, what's going on? Is it drugs or what's going on? <laughs> I don't know. Police tell the public that as long as they're not involved in a high-risk lifestyle, they should be out of harm's way. But this spike in crime is taking up time and resources. We currently have hundreds of officers working on this, from specialty units to patrol officers, investigators, analysts, crime scene techs, forensic firearms specialists. Everybody is engaged. In Calgary, Jackie Perez, City News.